Hey everybody, it's the Big JB. Something came in the mail today. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. I've been waiting for this all day today. Here's the big reveal. Da da! There it is. I could not wait to get my hands on this thing. So I took the wrapper off, it kind of came in, you know, all this special packaging, and the box itself just looked so freaking cool. People were talking about it online. MMO Champion was talking about the statue online. I had to go check my account balance to see if I qualified. Sure enough, my account started in 2004. I definitely qualified. So I had to go online and check the UPS site to see if I was going to get a box. Uh, somebody told me how to check. Sure enough, I had a box on the way and I could not wait to get the thing open. The foam itself was even stamped with Blizzard's logo. It's pretty cool. Okay, the next big reveal. Ba -da -da there it is, ready to assemble. It came in four different pieces. It had the axe weapon that goes in one of the hands, and it was wrapped up individually. It had the base, which has uh, some text on it, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. And then there was the sword that goes in the other hand that he's holding, kind of doing this awesome sort of battle cry on the back of the wolf. And then there's the last piece with him on the wolf, uh, ready to be put together. Okay, so let's look at the two, really the two coolest parts of this thing. I mean, the weapons are great and they, you know, go in the right sockets and everything. But the base, which has these stones on it, uh, you can kind of see how they're, they're positioned on here, that the, uh, the wolf is actually standing on top. And then there's the wolf and the, uh, the orc itself. Um, a hefty piece of resin right there. Um, really, really cool looking. Um, very detailed front and back. And it rests very nicely on those stones. It has a little post that you insert into one of the stones, the very top, and then it just kind of rests right in there. Then uh, I went ahead and unwrapped the hands and put them into the sockets where they belong. And he was ready to go. So on the base of the statue, it has this really cool little thank you. The statue is based off of a statue that they have actually on uh, premises at Blizzard Entertainment. And it's kind of the, the centerpiece of their, their campus. And um, I thought it was really cool for them to send out this gesture, this representation of uh, that statue, but then also to have this information on the bottom and just kind of, you know, describing why they sent it out the way that they did. I think it shows a lot of appreciation for the fans. I think it shows a lot of care and attention to detail, as always. Speaking of attention to detail, let's have a look at this statue up a little bit closer. You can tell on the paint job they've made an effort to look like it's oxidized, just like the real statue, even down in here where the, uh, the leather was supposed to be on the harness. The detail is absolutely incredible. So the box obviously commemorates the 10 year anniversary. Uh, it has Horde and Alliance logos on it, so that's great. They're representing both factions, despite the fact that it is an orc, um, which is, you know, obviously from the Horde. Um, but I do like the fact that they have both, uh, they have both factions represented on the box. And then of course there is the base, uh, which I mentioned before, with all of the details on there. Um, and, you know, again, you can read here what the, the inscription says. This is an excellent piece. I'm really, really thrilled to have it. I'm very proud to have it. Proud to have been part of World of Warcraft for the 10 years with nary an interruption in my, in my subscription. And this statue will definitely have a place of honor right next to the Doomhammer. So there it is, the Veterans Thank You gift from Blizzard. I'm, I'm amazed that they did this. It's incredible. So thank you, Blizzard, for 10 awesome years of World of Warcraft. Here's to many more. Uncle Pockets?